Yes, here we go. I started talking before I knew we had to do something technical here. Anyway, I'll call the meeting of the uh, Davenport Housing Commission together for Monday, July 19th, 2021. Uh, we'll first look at the minutes for the June meeting. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, I <laughs> was just going to mention something about that. But uh, uh, Joyce Miller. Here. Gary Susich. Here. Yolanda Roberts. And here. Was saying, sorry. I'm here. And I just wanted to start off saying, sorry for being late last month, but oh, goodness. Yolanda. <laughs> took care of things and thankfully uh, Joyce and Gary are here to make sure there was a quorum for the, <laughs> at least the business part of things and I did arrive before uh, Bruce Berger did <laughs> so it all worked out but anyway uh, I don't know if anyone has any uh, questions or corrections to the uh, minutes for last month. But if there are not, I'll ask for a motion to approve those minutes. I don't have any questions or comments regarding the minutes from the last meeting. I make a motion to approve. Okay, thank you. Second. Great. Been moved and seconded to approve the minutes for the uh, the June meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose the same sign. Now we'll go on to the financial reports for uh, that month of June. Joyce, you're kind of the numbers cruncher down there, which is a great thing. I'll admit I'm <laughs> well, everything looked fine for me when I looked it over at home, so. Okay. <laughs> when you have time to, to really think things over. And I think that line, and you can correct me, or Destiny can double check it, but under, on, on the Section 8, that uh, rental assistance utility reimbursement is quite a big number, 145, mm -hmm. almost 146,000. Yep, that's just our um, subsidy payments. So we get reimbursed from HUD for that amount. So it, that's fine. Okay. Just means that we've, we're helping more people than we plan to with our budget. Okay. These are only expenses that you guys see. So on the revenue side, you would see that that shortfall there is covered under our revenue. Okay. And things are at least section eights. I think about the only thing we're gonna have to worry about uh, as a commission here in the future, but uh, as far as you know, from uh, the federal level, things are gonna still be uh, Funded at least at status quo. Yeah, as far as I know, more. HUD works on a calendar year basis. Our fiscal year is June 30th, but um, I haven't heard any kind of cuts or anything going on. And we did add the um, FYI, the Foster Youth Independence. We did add those vouchers to our program. So Correct. Kelly's getting those vouchers issued. And how many again is that? We only have seven right now. Um, I believe we can go up to 25 per year. Are they recruiting kit or I, that's So we get those through the T Department of Human Services. It's a referral thing. Yeah, for... yeah. So um, I don't know for sure how they handle that over there. Okay. Okay. Well, if nobody has any questions on that, I'll ask for a motion to approve the financial report for the month of June. I make a motion to uh, approve the financial report for the month of June. Second. 
Great, been moved and seconded to approve the financial report for the or reports, plural, for the month of June. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, those pass. Now we're under the occupancy report. So this will probably be the last report you'll see for the heritage, but um, public housing we still have. So we'll have those two units. Um, they're not planning on rehabbing those. And then the heritage, um, our contractor was done as well with those. So those uh, units rem remained vacant for the new owner. And then for section eight, you can see that our numbers are going up because we're pulling from the waiting list. Um, so it's starting to look good, look better. And those LC ones, they're not rehabbing because that's part of the sale process. Um, our include? rehab contractor wasn't going to be able to get to those in a timely manner. And we weren't sure Before when our the... sale was going to happen. Uh -huh. um, and so our, we no longer have our re rehab contractor. And if you've tried doing any type of repairs to your house, you'll know that it's hard <laughs> to come by a contractor at all right now. So we couldn't even yeah. get anybody on a temporary basis. And these were two units that the tenants had lived in for several years, so they're gonna need major rehab. Oh. Our section eight, I know I ask this question periodically, are you still getting enough uh, landlords coming forward offering? Yeah, yeah uh, we, I don't think we've had any problems with landlords at all. It's more our background checks that we have issues with um, leasing people up than we do finding landlords. Uh -huh. We always welcome new landlords though. Can you can you turn your mic on? I can't hear you. Very Have well. the landlords increased their rent that you know of? Um, if they do, we have, you know, they have to be willing to work with us because we have our payment standards. Right. Um, so I haven't had any problems. I haven't heard of any major problems with that as well. Okay. Yeah, because we're pulling from the waiting list right now and issuing vouchers and hope to be leasing up soon. Sometimes it's nice they can just lease up right where they're at if they've been a good tenant and the landlord is willing to, you know, come on board with the Section 8 program or maybe it's a landlord that always already takes the Section 8 and then they can lease them up right away through that as well. Well, with this housing market and everything, I just know that a lot of landlords have been increasing their rent or even with um, homeowners, you know, trying to sell or something like that. It's yeah. just the increase has been there then. So I was just wondering if any of landlords have been increasing their rent. I haven't heard from the housing coordinators that have had problems. I mean, if they increase, they're allowed to increase their rent annually um, as long as it still works within our payment standard and the comparison to, mm -hmm. you know, other units. So mm -hmm. um, I haven't heard of any complaints. The housing coordinators do that. Um, if they seem to think there was a big issue, I'm sure they would bring it to my attention. Yeah. But you haven't received any feedback that it has been an no, issue? No, I have not. Oh, good. That's good. I guess that just got me thinking about a, a story I heard on uh, Iowa Public Radio today. Their housing moratorium uh, for people that are behind for various reasons is ending at the end of the month and they're uh, at least advocates are extremely worried about people who may get, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a technical term, blacklisted by a landlord and would have a hard time even getting Section 8 housing. Uh, I don't know if you've had an increase in people applying for that, people who might have been able to pay before. I know there's traditionally since I've been involved in this commission, which been a while, has always been a, you know, quite a, a long waiting list. But yeah, our waiting list has been closed for several years right. for the Section yeah. 8 program. And I, mm -hmm. I know that there's... I think you've opened it a couple of times. Right, but... right. Um, I know that so, there's some agencies, Salvation Army, <clears throat> that are working, you know, with some money that they have. I don't know what type of funds are available out there anymore. 
But I know at one time the Salvation Army did have some IFA's funds. not giving any money out. IFA? <laughs> They've got a big pool of money for rental assistance. Mm -hmm. They've given out 2%. Mm -hmm. 2%. Yeah. That's not your fault. That's not our fault. That is from, uh, uh, quite frankly, the governor of Iowa's fault mm. for putting her thumb on those people and slowing it down because she doesn't want to admit there's a problem in our state. Yeah. I mean, there's been several reports, nonpartisan reports that yeah. I've read about that. I just think it's unconscionable, but that's yeah. not our purview, but I just thought I'd... <laughs> we can go on a whole other tangent about that, but we won't. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so I don't mean to... It just came up in discussion here, so sometimes I've been a little... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, anyway, if there's no other questions on the... Uh, uh, occupancy report. I'll ask uh, for a motion to approve that, the occupancy and utilization report. I make a motion to approve the occupancy <laughs> report. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Second. Great. It's been moved and seconded to approve the occupancy report. Uh, for the month of June. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, that passes. So, anything for discussion? I don't think so. They yes. asked about us moving over, so we, we're over at City Hall now. Lindsay's oh, you have back official. at PD. Okay, so I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't hear what you said. We've moved over to City Hall the oh, sale okay. the, yeah, with okay. the sale of the Heritage. Yeah. So we moved over, um, I think it was the 9th, Last, it was the Friday before, yeah, the 9th. Um, Lindsay moved back to PD. She started there on Monday the 12th. So, um, so yeah, we're over here now. So the sale did go through then? It's my understanding that it was finalized today. Yes, I have So how do you like a new gig? It's fine. I, I'm only here temporarily until public housing sells, so... I'm just in a place to do my work for right now. Okay. I heard that I ran into a friend of mine recently who happens to be a section eight, section eight <laughs> landlord. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he said he got a letter from the um, city saying people were moving, and mm -hmm. he knows I'm on this commission because. Yeah. One time he was there with a, a tenant back when we used to have uh, hearings. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, we were chatting. So at least every, I guess everybody knows. But. Yeah, we sent out letters to all the landlords and tenants. How are the sales on the public housing going? Um, I am working on the application to HUD right now. I'm having some technical issues with their website that I've been working with them for the last couple of days. Um, and then I know Bruce is working with the nonprofits um, on their offer. So I don't, I can't speak for him on where that's at. I think he's still waiting for final numbers, but uh, I'm working on the application. So it'll still be a few months yet, I think, before anything happens with that. Okay. I just checked our next, the third Monday is August 16th. Yep, that's what I saw too. If that works. Mm -hmm. So hearing... um, on this, oh. the public housing then, then the works, when things get finalized with whatever institution takes over whatever, um, how much of a timeline do you think the people are going to have? Are they going to give them enough of a timeline then 
to figure if they're going to be staying there or the vouchers or where they're going to go? Yeah, we've had tenant meetings, so they're aware that the process in, is in place. So they've had time to think about if they're going to stay or look for something else. Um, once we get our application approved by HUD, then that's when they'll give us our vouchers for those that do want to move or if they have to move. I mean, there might be some if um, the nonprofits that take over that particular unit. Um, and we have one tenant that is buying hers. So um, if they are going to move or have to move, they'll get those vouchers and they get 120 days to look for a place with the Section 8 voucher. Or any other questions or discussion? No. If not, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn the meeting. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Great. Been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 We're at June. Adjourned. Until <laughs> June. <laughs> Where were you before you came here today? No <laughs> place. <laughs> Getting so I don't talk to as many people as I right. used to, so right. I think that's yeah. part of it. We've all become. <laughs> we had a meeting by text or email. I'd probably be better at it. So, although I prefer people. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>